On today's episode, we're making buffalo chicken burgers. This is a pound of ground chicken. You can buy it ground from the supermarket. Unless it's today and they're out. In which case I bought uh, chicken thighs, a pound of chicken thighs. And cut them out myself. Nice. That's what it looks like. It's actually going to be pretty good. I'm digging what's happening here. Uh, now, in the interest of not making you sit through me chopping everything, I've got a couple things ready. Wow. And if you don't like that idea, send an email to info at thecookingguy.com and blame Max. <laughs> if you think it's okay, tell us too. If you think you need to see me cut a third of a cup of celery into fine pieces, then say I want to see you cutting celery. If you don't care, you only care about the fun in between parts and the cooking and how it turns out, then tell us that too. Here's about a third of a cup of diced green onion. And I did save a little cutting because it's simple and quick. Uh, the curly parsley. We'll do about a quarter of a cup of this. You know, there's a difference between a quarter of a cup chopped or a quarter of a cup chopped parsley. You know that difference, right? Yes. A quarter of a cup of chopped parsley, is it in the cup measuring thing already chopped? A quarter of a cup of parsley chopped means you're just taking leaves and stuffing them in and it wouldn't necessarily be the same thing. That was boring education. But it just shows you how important it is to write a recipe properly, which I do sometimes. Okay, so the parsley goes in. You've got the celery, you've got the green onion, of course, you've got the parsley, you've got the chicken. We haven't seasoned this yet. Go fairly simple. Salt. Pepper. And even though it's going on the outside, a little Frank's Red Hot into the mix itself. And now we mix. Oh boy, I fear I put too much hot sauce in. Not a problem with heat, a problem with whether well, these things are going to fall apart. And I don't really want to add any bread product to them. I know I just said I don't want to add any bread product to this, but I can see I'm going to have to. I wanted that much hot sauce, so let's start with a quarter cup. Looks like that. This should be fine now. Oh yeah. Much better. They're going to be moist and they're going to be great. Okay, so now we need three of approximately the same amount. We're making three burgers, three, what are they? Approximately five and a half ounce uh, burgers. Like that. Like that. Like this. Boy, these are going to be good. All right, uh, these go in the fridge for, I don't know, you know, give them a half an hour. Let them sort of come together a little bit. And when they're done, there's a lot of stuff in there. When they're done, they come out and then we cook them. Uh, but while they're in there, we're gonna make the little sauce for this, right? We'll stand by for that. So, a couple tablespoons of mayo, sour cream, and crumbled up blue cheese. We'll call this like Quarter cup of blue cheese, crumbled. Super yum. And then we mix. And bust up the, uh, the blue cheese as you go. That's good. We set that aside and we wait to cook our burgers. We're ready. So the burgers have sat. We're gonna do this. Uh, give them a quick shot of uh, avocado oil so they don't stick, and then we go like this, and we go back. Oh, now, I forgot about this. Once we flip them, we're gonna give them a little basting. with Frank's, because we can, and because it will be the right thing to do. Not quite yet. 
I, I want these guys to, to cook, get a nice little crust on them, then we'll flip them over and then we'll start to do that. And I'm going to heat this up, the flat griddle, so that uh, we can toast a bun. Because burger, even a chicken one, on a cold, untoasted bun, you might as well not even have a bun. Okay, I'm getting ready to turn, so. Meh. Lovely. Now, we can do a bit of this. Lovely, lovely, lovely. They're gonna be good. Okay, bun, golden, beautiful. Ah, five second rule, man. Shit. But on the bottom, we can put some of this, this blue cheese sour cream mayo nonsense. And then we can go with some shredded lettuce. And then we can do this. Let me just go. Turn that guy upside down for a sec. A little bit more of this. And then that bun. Ow, 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 ow. Here's a good angle. That's pretty, right? Yeah. Well, the only thing left to do then would be have a bite. I don't mean that loves, but look how good that looks. Wow. Right? The celery, the parsley, the green onion. Go. <laughs> it's a disaster. It's a freaking delicious disaster. Oh my God. All right, that might be the messiest burger I've ever made. One of the most delicious, you need to make it. And that celery in there gives a really delicious crunch. And the Frank's Red Hot is just, well, delicious Frank's Red Hot. All right, thanks for hanging out. Don't make the same thing all the time. Try new recipes. Of course, I'd like them to be mine, but if they're not mine, try anybody's recipes. Just try new stuff. That's it. Thanks for hanging out. Go to the website, Instagram, social media, blah, 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 all that stuff. See ya.